everyone, it's Jadne here. Welcome back to my channel, Super School. How are you all? Hope all of you are doing well. So today I'm going to share a very important information with you. That is how the evolution process takes place in IELTS speaking test. Yes, a lot of people who are um, planning to sit for IELTS speaking test or mock test or are preparing for the test, you must know about the evolution process because this will help you to prepare effectively for your IELTS speaking test. So let's begin with the process. The process consists of four main criteria. Yes, four main criteria. The first one is fluency and coherence. The second one is lexical resource. The third one is grammatical accuracy and range. The fourth one is pronunciation. So let me repeat again. Fluency and coherence, lexical resource, grammatical accuracy and range, and pronunciation. So let me now share with you how each and every single criteria is marked. So every individual criteria is marked out of the band score 9 yes and then when each of them are marked out of 9 the total of your band score are divided by 4 and the average summation is your actual speaking band score for IELTS test so am I clear or I will quickly just repeat it all the criteria are marked individually out of 9 and then they are summed together, averaged out and then you get your final speaking score, speaking test band score. So it's not that difficult to understand, right? Now, what does each and every single criteria consist for? What does an examiner seek when they take the test? So. The points that are marked in each and every single individual criteria, I will quickly explain. First one is what? Fluency and coherence. So for the fluency and coherence, the speed of your speech delivery and how you are connecting the ideas or how you're linking your flow of ideas are marked. Then in the second part, which is the lexical resource, your vocabulary and the appropriate use of expressions are marked. In the third part, which is the grammatical accuracy and range, there the examiner marks how much grammatically accurate your sentences are that you are using to verbally express yourself. And the fourth one is pronunciation. So by pronunciation, I don't mean accent. You don't need to fake an accent. Often uh, when students or when IELTS examiners see that the students are trying to fake the accent, then it backfires. It, it, put, it uh, splits on a negative impression, you know. So do not fake an accent but try to learn the correct pronunciation of the common words that are used in regular conversation or try to learn the new words by its correct pronunciation and you'll be able to identify the correct pronunciation by yourself once you learn IPA that is international phonic alphabets which is also known as phonetics so if you are willing to learn more elaborately and provide me an opportunity to be your instructor and take professional premium language courses then please follow my page keep an eye there very soon i'm going to be inviting you to join my online classes and please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel thank you so much that's all